It's one of the deadliest chemical agents ever created. Within seconds of exposure, symptoms of nausea and convulsions take over. Without emergency treatment, paralysis, respiratory failure, and death can occur within minutes. This deadly killer is the nerve agent VX. Weapon VX. Classification organophosphate. Lethal dose 30 micrograms. The organophosphate type of chemicals are considered nerve agents because they attack the nervous system. The nervous system controls all of the functions of the body, and so by interrupting or stimulating that, you get all these various effects. VX in its normal state is a tasteless, odorless liquid that can be absorbed through the skin in seconds. When heated, it turns into a lingering vapor that if inhaled is even more deadly. VX is a persistent agent, which means it's less volatile than the other nerve agents. This means that uh, when it's exposed to the air, uh, the material doesn't go up into the air, and it lasts much longer. To give you an idea of how toxic the chemical is, if you pulled a penny out of your pocket, and if you looked at the penny and you looked at Lincoln's eye, it only takes a drop size of Lincoln's eye to cause lethality. There are no confirmed cases of VX being used on people, but it's widely believed that during Saddam Hussein's chemical attack against the Kurds in 1988, VX was dispersed with deadly results. The attack on the Kurds killed over 5,000. The nerve agents were definitely unique compared to the earlier World War I chemical warfare agents. 
They had very little smell to them. They began affecting the person very quickly and were much more lethal. From 1961 to 1968, the United States produced approximately 4,400 tons of VX, enough to kill every human being on the planet. The U.S. stockpile served as a deterrent against the Soviet Union, which had begun producing even larger supplies of chemical agents, including the nerve agents Soman, Sarin, and VX. In 1960 and 61, we standardized a uh, artillery projectile, and we came up with a newly designed landmine, and also loaded VX in a rocket warhead. Fortunately, neither country ever used the lethal nerve agent against the other. In 1969, Richard Nixon agreed to ban the U.S. manufacturing of chemical weapons. Production of VX ceased, and the stockpile was placed in storage. Today, only the United States and Russia claim to have stockpiles of VX. Yet some suspect that Iraq may have produced large quantities of the deadly nerve agent. At the onset of Operation Iraqi Freedom, U.S. forces prepared for the worst. We felt that it was very likely that uh, our adversaries would use chemical weapons against us, and we felt that they had VX in their arsenal. VX is often used as a terrain denial weapon, kind of the way you would use landmines. And one of the things we're very concerned about is not having our forces stumble into land that's been contaminated with VX. In January of 2005, the United States ended its hunt for weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. No VX was found. But the threat of VX doesn't end in Iraq. Other countries are suspected to be attempting to produce the deadly agent. And there is enough VX in the U.S. and Russian stockpiles to kill millions. So the threat of attack from one of the world's deadliest weapons remains. Hey, All right, everybody, oh, gather hey, round. Hey, Welcome hey, to the hey, Pentagon. Hey, what kind of pay do you want? No notice taskings? Canceling your program? Join duty? Anything you hate, you've come to the right place because this is the Pentagon. Who can take the work day? Stretch it out a bunch. Stretch it out a bunch. Feed your shit for breakfast and some paperwork for lunch. The Pentagon. The Pentagon. Oh, the Pentagon can. The Pentagon can. The Pentagon can, cause it makes us work with pain and makes Alaska look good. Makes Alaska look good. Who takes motivation? Who takes motivation? Dips it in despair. Dips it in despair. Wrecks your liver and your soul and takes away your hair. The Pentagon. The Pentagon can. The Pentagon can. Cause it makes us work with pain and makes Korea look good. The Pentagon breaks everything it takes. Far beyond all recognition. How'd we come to this condition? We can't even do our mission. Who can take tomorrow? Who can take tomorrow? Wish it all away. Wish it all away. Zero out its budget and pretend it's yesterday. The Pentagon. 